Logic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're coming at you with an exclusive. We're the first to drive this. It's the Torque Roadster from Epic. It's a three-wheeled, all-electric, high-performance machine. I mean, if you consider zero to 60 in around four seconds high performance, just, you know, whatever. Just, if that's, okay, whatever, it's fine, just whatever. <laughs> Zero to 60 in four seconds, pulling about a 1.3 lateral G, about 300 horsepower equivalent, 600 pound feet of torque. Oh. So the same guys that brought you the electric wake boat, same guys that brought you the electric ATV, decided they needed something with a little more performance. The steering itself is a little bit of an electric assist, which is nice. The suspension is pretty flat when you're turning. Not, you know, not a whole lot of movement going on. The brakes are nice. I kind of throw them on right now. You know. <laughs> Kids, don't try that at home. All right, so we're here with Chris Anthony, the founder of Epic Electric Vehicles. Thanks so much for being with us. Good to see you, Bradley. All right, so you are the founder of this, but you've also had your hands in a bunch of other projects. Tell me about those. I have very interesting projects, uh, some based in efficiency, some based in fun. Started with Epic Boats, based in wakeboarding. Took some composite technology from that company into Aptera, super lightweight, efficient three-wheeler. Stepped into my own battery company, Flux Power, and then started with the electric boat, which you've seen, and the electric ATV, and now this electric torque sports car. You guys actually had your hand in uh, the DeLorean Motor Company's kind of electrification. They wanted to do an electric vehicle with the DeLorean platform. An electric drivetrain was getting uh, you know 80 to 100 miles range in that car with some good performance and a nice looking vehicle. I want to get into a little bit about the physics of, of having three wheels. Well, in a four-wheel vehicle, front wheel drive, you uh, you know canter about in the corners and you go from each uh, outside wheel. You'll notice aggressive cars lift the inside wheel when they corner aggressively when right. racing. Uh, so we figured if you're going to lift that wheel anyways, why not just get rid of it? You're going to lose the body weight to support it. You're going to lose the extra uh, rolling resistance, push the weight forward in the vehicle, You know, get 60 to 70% front weight bias. It's a very, very stable platform. One of the first things you'll notice about this car is the suspension set up because you can actually see it. Yeah, we actually had to do that for packaging the battery reasons. You know, we want to keep the weight forward, so we want to pack a lot of batteries in the front, and unfortunately, suspension members uh, take up a lot of room. We had some Formula One designers come in and help us, uh, and it's a very effective system. It also has the added benefit of being able to see the suspension actuate as you drive the car. The acceleration in this thing is just bonkers. Partly also because my entire face is exposed to the world, so it feels a little bit uh, faster maybe than it normally would. You know, you're hitting 40, 60, 80 miles an hour, you can't really tell. Nobody behind me. We're gonna test the U-turn capabilities. Yeah, all right, so maybe not the best turning radius, but a turning radius nonetheless. Super balanced, even playing tight curves. Steering's nice, electric power. I really like the interior. There's some cool carbon fiber trim, the nice little Samsung tablet. They said they're gonna change the skin, but this is what it is right here, right now. You know, a lot of the parts on here, the suspension, the steering, some of those parts are Volkswagen because they realize if they're gonna be shipping this across the world, you can get Volkswagen parts about anywhere. This vehicle is very interesting in that you can actually tune the vehicle a lot. You know, so you might just buy a base vehicle and you might want to do your own suspension upgrades, your own brake upgrades. Interesting. Your own, okay. You might want to rewind the uh, armature and the motor. You know, upgrade the controller. All these things you can do with this vehicle, unlike a lot of other electric vehicles like the you know Tesla Roadster and the Fisker Karma, which right. have great technology. But when you buy that vehicle, it's locked down. You get what you get. You get what you get. Yeah. You can't jailbreak your car. Yeah. <laughs> you're not you're not jailbreaking <laughs> like your iPhone. This you can. You can you can open it up. You can add more batteries, you can 
customize the interior, you can add stereo options, all these things. Yeah. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, approach to electric vehicles. What about safety? Someone might look at this and think, wait, what if I flip over? Or what's the situation there? Well, the uh, steel chassis that we designed, you know, we did impact testing, does protect you obviously a lot better than a motorcycle, but we're selling it as a motorcycle, and you know, that's the level of protection that you should expect. The standard tour comes with a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack. You can upgrade that to a 28 kilowatt hour battery pack. You know, that's what's going to get you to the 100 mile range if you drive it conservatively. We also offer options to up the voltage of the vehicle, which obviously ups the performance. Every two kilowatt hours you add gives you about 8% better acceleration, about 8% more range. The motor you guys have is a DC motor. Yes. Uh, why not go AC? AC is an interesting option uh, for some of our customers and people have asked about it. Uh, it gives you regen braking, which uh, could give you better braking in the corners, but it's a lot more expensive and it's a lot harder to tune. Uh, our DC system uh, gives you a lot of power for a reasonable price. Uh, you can actually get in, you can tweak the controller, tweak the throttle mapping and things like that. You can rewind the armature of the electric motor. You can upgrade the brushes, a lot like uh, RC car racing. Uh, you know, those okay. guys spend thousands of dollars making their RC car is the best and yeah. it's, uh, a lot of it it has to do with the dc motor inside awesome very cool well you're doing a lot of great electric stuff we love it so thanks so much for your time thanks bradley all right so there you go killer looks fantastic performance and overall badassery and yes this isn't going to be replacing your daily driver ev this is a little more along the lines of a high-end toy but man is it a blast to drive all right for translogic i'm bradley hasemeyer see you next time